we are live. Hello, hello. This is Mondo Market TV, and you are watching the Sparkle of Creativity show. This is your time to just chill and hang out with friends and talk about cool things to create. I'm here with Shahar. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, what shall we call you? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She is. Artist. Oh, that's well, what yes, I am. Yes, you are an artist. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so before we get started, you're just going to love what we're going to do today. We have some amazing little critters to show you. We're going to demo how to make them, and they're made out of pipe cleaners. It's fantastic. You're going to love me. Mm -hmm. Love it. So Trust fun. me. But, 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 before we do, don't forget to share. Yes, like, comment, and share. Let folks know that we're live right now. Your best viewing experience is on Mondo Market TV. On there you can watch the show and there's a chat box below where you can interact with us and please interact with us we love knowing that you're out there and uh, but if you're watching on facebook or youtube we do monitor those platforms as well so say hi and uh, so let's the have folks a good time that are watching us on instagram hop Ooh, into yes .com. that is correct monomarkettv.com no yeah awesome cool let's do it fantastic Char Okay, we are going to talk about pipe cleaners once Ooh, again. Pipe, clean pipe cleaners are fun. They're super fun. So, so far, what have we done with pipe cleaners? We have created teddy bears. We created teddy bears like this little guy. There was mm -hmm. one episode. In more than one way. So this guy was the first one. This guy. So then Cute we created guy. flowers like here. Ooh, yes. Right? Give me the flowers. Yeah, I'll, I'll show the them. We, we made actually several Look flowers. at these cute flowers. Yes. I mean, I'm showing them upside down, but look at this. Uh-huh. Yes, adorable. Yeah. And then last week, we actually uh, created a miniature, miniature teddy bear. Ooh. That was this type of guys here. Look at this or those. little guy here. Yes. And I mean, they are mini when you compare it. Look, I'll compare it. See? Yeah, they're tiny. Look, show, show this one or this one, for example. For a, that's a the more, one we have in the kit. Look at the look. difference in size. Yes. And how adorable they are. Totally adorable. Whoopsie. And today we are going to do pipe cleaning, pipe cleaners, creatures once again. Why? Because it's fun. Uh, it is fast. It is easy. And you can use them in different scenarios. So today we are going to make bugs. Yes, bugs. I actually like bugs very much. Not when they are around me, though. I like them in theory. <laughs> I like them as, as, as uh, you know, these little insects that they are, but I don't like when they are around me. They tend to love my hair, maybe because of the goo that I use, <laughs> and they stick to that, so that's terrible. But they're so fun, and they, and they have such uh, different shapes and expressions that it's really fun when you make them out of mat uh, material. You probably saw before, I make a lot of them out of beads, I use beads and I use wire and I create some brooches with that. Well, with pipe cleaners gives a different interpretation uh, of those same bugs and that's what we are going to do today. Now, when you see the pieces, don't think only, you know, toys and kids because yes, you can make the teddy bears with kids, it's all fun with the, the, the bugs as well, but think about how you could incorporate them in other things that you do. So for example, I have created some ladybugs. Do you Ooh, want to show them? Yes. And we are Look. going to create one together. And these are super cute. Look so at these. So they are tiny. Yes. And you can see they have, you There's embellish a them. Thing here that doesn't belong. Look at this. Here's another. So I, I made with different uh, types of dots, but you can see that they are small. Wouldn't they look super great if you are, are yes. into card making, for example? You make cards, you send to friends, and you add one of those, it would just be adorable. Or maybe you were uh, the art doll maker. We know we have a lot in our, in our show coming to, to watch us. Y you could incorporate that, which is a sculpture, for example. Uh, you could make brooches out of this as well, put in a bag. So think about uh, where you would use this kind of creatures. Of course, if you have a vase in your home, uh, you can add one. Let's add one. I mean, look one. at a little, a little ladybug on this face. I can't show it over here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, look. Yes. Look how cute. Where would you put it? Ah, I on, on, in the middle of a flower. Oh, uh, yes. Look at that. So adorable. Okay, I'm going to so, do it on the close-up just so you can see. Look at this. Can we yeah. say cute or cute? 
So you can use in, in many different scenarios. So it's not only fun and relaxing to be making them, but then you can incorporate them. So like I said, on, on your decor at home, maybe in a piece of, uh, of a bag, even a brooch or cards, they go really well with cards because they're very light, very easy to put in an envelope as well. So that would be awesome. The other bug that we are going to create today is a spider. A spider. So the spider, you can create mobiles with that. By the way, you, what? Doris says, hey. Hey, how hey you doing, Doris? Doris? Uh, you can create mobiles. Uh, Halloween decor, for sure, you can create them. You can put in wreaths if you're doing stuff for Halloween. Uh, you know they are a sign of prosperity, and most of all, they are actually the symbol for creators. So as an artist, you might think, I want to have some spiders around. This don't bite, so they are fantastic. Uh, I have, we, we made an episode where we created one out of beads. I have actually one here in the studio by the door. We have one I by have the one door at home. Bedroom. And now I have from pipe cleaners in my office oh, as well. Oh, and I see what you've done there. Ah, have you seen that? She put a little ladybug I have a lady microphone. <laughs> <laughs> microphone. Many uses. So let's get one of the spiders to show them. Let's. We are going to create together that so as well. So here's this one. you got to be careful because they're yes. spiders. It's a tarantula. But it's a tarantula. But look. Tarantula. Look at this spider. And this one kind of looks real, okay. Shahar. Yeah, this one really does. And the... that's exactly the one we are going to make. Yay! So see, you put an island cord there and you put in your Halloween decorations or again, by the door, you know, in a vase as well because it would be, look cool too. Look at this. The tarantula is coming up the vase. It's, it's hard to see, but da, da, yes, da. way cool. And well, and you can add uh, in in the other one. I mean, you can wear it as a brooch, but yeah, it's, it's a little big. But for Halloween, for Halloween, for Halloween, it would be perfect. fine. For Halloween, it would be a fun uh, hair. Well, ha hair that, piece. look at this. It would make a very fun so hair piece fun. for a kid, and you can use metallic uh, pipe cleaners as well. Yes. And then you have a different story for the spider. Ta -da, look at this, for example. Yep. Look at this. So it has some shine. Yep. Again, would look great in a wreath. Yes. Any type of decoration for Halloween. But again, it's a sign of prosperity. Native Americans, they, uh, I don't know if all Native Americans, but I know some tribes, they never kill a spider because it was like killing prosperity Ooh. Ar around you, you know, the abundance and everywhere. But uh, what I think is really fun, is like I said, is a symbol of creation. And the last bug, we're not going to make that one, but you do have that in our kit, is the bee. So the you want to get one of those? Look at how cute these bees are. I love the bees. Look at them. Bzzz. Yes, and you have a variation, the, the one on the trunk. It has... Oh, cute. Oh, how cute. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? So if you're a beekeeper, you Perfect want these around. You Perfect for you to give as a gift yes. and remind pe people of the importance Hi. of bee. Hi. Hi. Bzzz. Hello. Bzzz. Bzzz. What are you doing? Bzzz. Bzzz. Where Enjoy. am I here? <laughs> so... Cool? Very cool. Okay, so guys, this is an interactive show. So if you have- Questions or comments. Comments or ca We will reward you, right? Are we? Yeah, we are. are we, I'm are we giving, giving a, a bee away. Ooh, lucky person's gonna yes. get a bee. All you have to do is like, comment, and share. Wherever you're watching, like, comment, and share. And you might just be the winner. We'll announce, we'll announce lucky winner at the end of the day. Yeah, so do that, do that, okay? And ask all questions. So let's start with the spiders, is let's. that okay? What yes. do you need? Totally fine. You need two colors of pipe cleaner. Okay. Uh, usually one of them is black, but however you would like your spider to be, like the one we are going to make is exactly the one we just showed you. And then the other thing that you need to make this is a soda tab. Like a pop? Pop tab. Pop tab. Okay. Ooh. That's all you need to make this That's spider. That's all? Yes. So spiders, they have eight legs, correct? Yes. Or so I believe. So we are going to use four of each pipe cleaner to make the spider. Okay? Okay. So what do you have to do? Get the pipe cleaner and start twisting. And you're going to twist them all the way through. Okay, you don't need to twist a lot right now because we are going to twist this more 
later. But make sure you go all the length of your pipe cleaner, okay? Okay. Of course, I already prepared, since we have to do four of these, I have prepared the other three, so we can move fast. From all the bugs out there, which one is your favorite? I wanna know. Let me know in the chat. So I have already twisted the whole uh, two pipe cleaners I had. There is some left here with just one color that happens all the time, and you cut that out because that will actually uh, help you with the length that you need. Then you fold in half and cut. So you have two legs here. Okay. And you do the same thing three more times. So you are going to end up with eight legs for your spider. Okay. Uh, we are going to use the soda tab now. So I'm going to use four legs for each side. You see that the soda tab has two holes. So we are going to do four legs in one, and somehow I have five here, and four legs in another, okay? Very simple to do. You are going to insert the pipe cleaner and pinch it so it stays and is secure, okay? And then you are going to go inside the hole and out. And make sure it stays close to that hole. And then you do the same thing, four on each of the holes, okay? So I pinch, make sure it's tied okay, it's not too loose, and go around. You do this in the same order for all of them, so you don't have legs coming out from the top and legs coming out from the bottom. They all need to come from the same place. So whatever you do on the first, you keep doing. Then three, and whoops, oops, oops, four. Okay, I pinch, and then I insert and go out. Of course, the last one, you need to be a little bit more forceful. So what's happening here? Well, besides me securing the legs, is also creating the body of my spider, right? So how cool is that? Because you don't have to worry to making that body late, later. Okay, let's do the same with the other hole that we have here. So we go, we pinch. If you need, you can use a, a plier for that. If you think, for example, if you think it's too loose, you can come with a plier or even the tweezers. See, like this guy is just moving too much. So I'm going to come with my tweezers here. And pinch. Okay. And then I go all the same. It's so easy for you to, uh, if, for example, if you leave this on the table for a little bit, you may insert the wrong way. So it's good to get into the habit of doing the same way, all of them. Okay. Then the third. You're so quiet, Nashla. Oh, just watching. Just watching. Look at look how cute these little critters are. I want you to tell us which one is your favorite. Look at how cute, adorable. We've got the bee, we've got the ladybugs, the little bear, the spider. That's what Shahar is showing you how to make right now. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Super, super cute. Okay, I'm inserting the last one. And then we'll move to the next step. What I like about the pipe cleaners is also quite a fast thing to do. So you will notice that when you start, you start creating one after the other of the same. So see here, I have four legs on each side and I have the body already done. So that's a very cool thing about using a soda tab because uh, you're not later sculpting a body and adding that, okay? It's just done now, for you. Now, this is what I do. I check my legs, 
if they more or less they are the same size. Sometimes, like this guy, uh, is a little, little longer than all the others. Of course, I can cut that. But if you see any tab still showing, like I do have here at the bottom, I can then go and insert once again Just on the hole. It. So I'm going to hide it, and since it's longer than the others, it's going to be fine. Now, the the end of each leg here, for example, uh, is just the wire here. And you can poke, for example, if you're making a headband, headband, uh, it wouldn't be good. So what I do is I get my needle tool or any other round tool, and I just make a, a, a kind of a circle because this way I don't have the wire at the end at all. It's a lot better that way, a, a more professional finish, okay? Remember that I told you last time with the bears that you can sell them really well. This make fun little animals as well to sell. By the way, Shahar, Bonnie said her favorite one is the ladybug. The ladybug, They're so we are going to cute. make one. Well, Yay. You're gonna learn how to make one, Bonnie. Okay, so I did with all, so the finishing of the legs is fine. Right now, all you, you need to do is actually position the leg. So the leg of a, of, of a spider, one, two, three, four, just need to make sure I have it go. You pinch once, and you pinch down, and then you pinch the feet. I don't know if they call feet at all, but you see, you just do the same with, oh, guys, I forgot what? one thing. Ooh. What did you I, forget? I, I was here doing this, and I said, I thought, this is going so fast, I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I am. So remember I told you, pinch uh, strongly or use a, a plier if you need, because you don't want to, uh, this moving. Well, one thing you need to do now is twist the legs a little bit more than you did when you put the two pipe cleaners together. Okay, this will help that the uh, spider won't be too flimsy. Wow. Because you do, like I said, think over... When we are making pipe cleaner toys just for little kids is one thing. But if you're using this in any other shape and form, you want something that only uh, not only doesn't look like a pipe cleaner, but it will last longer. It has a better finish, okay? So all I'm doing now is twisting those legs a lot more than I did at the beginning. And you can see that if a person would see this spider in your home, right now, they would not be able to tell it is made out of pipe cleaners. Okay, so take your time to do that with all eight legs. Cool. Well, now we can bend. So we go up, pinch down, and the feet. Up, pinch down, and the feet. Up, pinch down, and the feet. And there you go with all of them. So is this easy or what? Super easy. It's super easy, it's fast. So if you're creating, let's say you have a Halloween party coming up uh, and you want to make something different, here you go. By the way, Elaine says hello. Hi. Hello. I like this too because it's almost instant gratification. It is, it is. See, so I can have it like this or I can bend this now and now I find the position I want for my spider. And there you go. Hey, there you go. See? Ta-da! Very, Very cool. cool. So yes. super simple to make. It makes a nice decor, like I said. Uh, I would think like if you're having a, a Halloween dinner or something, and you put this on the table, yeah, right? It would here. make such a cool thing. Such a cool thing. Look at this spider. How fun this is. Look at that. Yeah. And I mean, you can you can totally play with it. You can, uh, look, I'm putting it crawling on here on yeah. this thing. It looks good, doesn't it? It totally does. It looks real. Let me put it in my hands. I mean, look, tell me it doesn't look real. Uh-huh, right? it does. Like, like oh. I said, the, the person that doesn't know this is pipe cleaner, they will have to come and touch and yes. really be able to see. Especially because it's even kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy and everything, yes. yes. Yeah, I think you can you can play so much with this because you can use it as decoration for Halloween, mm -hmm. but you can do, you can do a ton of I love of the idea things. of a headband for a kid. 
during yes. Halloween. Yes, me too. So the whole month, I actually have a friend Put it kind of on your face that like during this. Halloween time, she's always dressed up from the beginning of the month to the end. Yes. She dressed up, so she has spiders that she uses as necklaces, spiders as brooch, rings and everything. So a headband would be a perfect gift for her. That's What true. are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? You, you did it like, oh. Yeah, because I had the spider on my face. I was like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, totally, Shahar. Uh, let's see. Elaine said, cool. And Tarantula. And yes. then uh, Shalit said, oh, freaky, super cool. Super. <laughs> uh, you would go, go really well in your wreaths. I know she loves to make wreaths. Yes. Hey, so, so we had a lot of requests for something. We and did. And we hear you. We do hear you. Um, we had a request for kits, like, hey, do you have a kit that we can do that comes exactly with the instructions, a DVD step-by-step, -step, and the, the material? So all I need to do is get the kit and boom, be done with it and just enjoy it. Uh -huh. And so we said, yes, we do. And we created one for you. So we're introducing to you today two different kits for you, pipe cleaner kits. We have the pipe cleaner fun uh, miniature, let's see, I'll actually get it right here, with the pipe cleaner fun Funny bugs, which uh, we're covering some of the ones here with you today. So this one has the spider, the tarantula, has the ladybug, and has the bee. Yes, yeah, spider, tarantula, ladybug, and bee, and they're all super cool and fun to make. Then we have the pipe cleaner fun miniature teddy bears kit. And this one too comes with everything that you need. It comes with the step-by-step the -step DVD. It comes with the pipe cleaners that you'll need. It comes with the embroidery floss, the beads, and so forth. So fantastic kit for you to get. Mm -hmm. I highly encourage you highly. to go to mondomarkettv.com right now to get your kit because it's an introductory. Uh, we're introducing it today. You have some savings there for you. So go mondomarkettv.com, but that only lasts 24 hours. Yes, so and on this now. kit, we are going to learn three different types of bears which are these here. Look at these friends. So we create the mini teddy bear, the simple one, just like we showed uh, on the show here. Then the bicolor one, yes. so you can create all types of variations for your bear. Adorable. And the panda bear. We also work with three different types of noses. The bead, which is very simple, one with felt, and an embroidery one. So you learn also different ways to create those little noses for your bear. Sweet little teddies, yes. yes. So just go to Mondo Market TV, okay? You get the bugs or you can get the mini teddy bears. Comes with everything that you need. Yes, fantastic. Yes, okay. Sheila said, woo, bugs. Yes, bugs, bugs. Yes. If you want a bee of your own. Bonnie said she loves the color of the spiders. Yes, so you, yeah, and you can create several variations. In the kit, that's exactly that color that you get. But you can work with tan, with even orange in the mm -hmm. spider and, and, and the black, and it will come out really, really fun. Yes. Okay? So let's create the ladybug then. Ooh, For ladybug. the ladybug, you basically, so ladybugs traditionally are very tiny, tiny little animals, right? So we don't need more than two pipe cleaners, even though in the kit you do get more than that. Uh, the first thing that, you, that we do is create a loop. And that loop will decide the size of your ladybug, okay? So in our case, we are going to make a small one. Then you pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And once you're done, so that's what you have at this moment, okay? Okay, pinch and turn, pinch, pinch and turn. Pinch and turn. Then the short piece here goes inside and back again, inside and back again. What you're doing here is creating the head of your bug, okay? And now you do the same with this other one. Make sure that the loops are close together. So I'm creating that head by adding the black here. So if I want more volume, I, I'm doing basically twice on, with each one but I can come and do more if I want more volume. That's totally up to how you, you like your ladybug to look, okay? So I'm going to give a little bit more here, one more turn, so I have a nice little head here, okay? Basically, here I end the head, okay? I'm not going to use this black anymore, so I can insert in one of the loops I made, 
Sometimes requires a little bit of love to make it go through, but eventually it does. And if you're going to put this in a, on a card, for example, if you're going to glue this to some place, you actually don't need to insert the wire here. You could just cut. Okay, this one doesn't want to go. Let me cut. It's just twisted. So again, if you know this is going to go into a surface where it's going to be glued, which would be the case with a, with a card, you could just cut this. But since I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, I insert it there to hold it, and then I clip, and I have my ladybug's head, okay? Now I come with the beautiful red, that really is a pretty red. It is. It is a very nice red. I like nice how red. rich it looks. And I pinch first to hold in place. And again, if you feel it's not holding in place very well, get a plier to do that. Okay, and now what we are going to do is the same thing we did with the head. Come out here. and do it again. So on a, on a small ladybug, very small ladybug, this one will require a little bit more, you would do this about seven times. Three times on one side, three times on another side, and one in the middle. But when the, it, the, looper, the loop is bigger, it requires more, okay? Now when I get here to the bottom, instead of tying my circles a lot, I'm going to leave them with a little volume, okay? And why? To make more like a ladybug. Okay, so this one I'm not going to tie so much. I'm going to leave more a of a looser. loose one. So it makes a bigger ladybug. Again, you decide the size that you want. Uh, a smaller one, you would work with seven loops total. Okay, this one I also do this, and the next three I'm going to tie like I did with the other one, with the, on the other side. How do you like this so far? I, I know. like it. You guys are quiet today. Yes. They are making me anxious. <laughs> Let us know that you're out there. Elaine, when we were talking, showing you about the bears, she said teeny tiny bears. Yes, teeny tiny, teeny bears. Teeny tiny adorable They're bears. adorable. And don't forget, you can dress them. Yes, would you like me to show some, even yeah, though we sure. had an episode dedicated just for that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'll wait for so, you here. Look at this little guy. Our director thinks he looks like a gangster, or she, or <laughs> whatever you want it to be, but I, I think it reminds me of one of those 50s, and like this one, with the little hat. See? You can have some fun with them. Oh, yeah. But... You, you can put dresses. I digress. Everything. Tell us how Here's to create these beautiful... So <coughs> I went around with my ladybug. If I were doing a smaller one, you wouldn't be able to see any gaps here in the middle because the, the pipe cleaner would be really together. But with a bigger one, sometimes you do, like I, I have right now. And what I do is I come uh, one last time through the hole, and then I go to the right in the middle at the bottom here. And that's how I will end my little ladybug. Then I, w I can shape, because this is just the wire, and give her the shape I want as a ladybug. Okay? And then here, same thing. You insert in one of the loops, and you can cut, because you're not going to use this part anymore. But wait, it's not over. Shalit uh, said, I love, 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 love these. Yeah, they are so Super fun cute. to make. And on a wreath. Oh, the on a wreath, yes. especially would look super adorable. Uh-huh. Okay, so, so far, this is what I have. Do you want to show? I do. Okay, I know you do. There you go. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So look at this. You can see it there. Look how cute. It looks cute already. Now yeah. we're, gonna, we're going to embellish it, of course. But that's it from the bottom right there, and then the top. Mm-hmm. Little ladybug. It's good luck, isn't it? Yeah. 
It's just cool to have around. Okay, so I have some leftover of the black, remember? I get about an inch and I clip and I do the same a second time. So I kind of have the same size on both of them. So these are going to be the antenna of my ladybug. So I come with the needle tool and I turn them a couple of times so I have the little ball on the top of the antenna. Elaine is asking for the bears, if the clothes are made out of pipe cleaners. Uh, the ones I have here are needle felted, uh, but nothing stops you, for example, to get uh, leftovers of cotton and make really nice clothes out of them. Elaine, or needle felt what or you ought whatever to do you want. is catch last week's episode of yes. Modern Market TV, because we dedicated it solely for the little itty bitty teddy bears. And Shahar shows you how to do the needle felting on it. And it's available everywhere all the yes. time. So Just you go to can Mondo watch. Market TV. Yeah. So here uh, I have my ladybug. And if I put this antennas, it's going to look weird because they're very fuzzy. And antennas don't tend to be fuzzy. Mm -mm. So how do we solve that issue if we are working with pipe cleaners? How? Nash? It can be distressful, right? You may oh, think it's not going to work. Yes. It's not going to be so pretty. No. Right? So that, here's the deal. Mm, Grab you them. Oh, I always have a solution. Ah. You have a problem, <laughs> I have a solution. Yay. I grab with my tweezers. So I, I'm grabbing the round part. I can leave this a little separate if I want. Now, this is not the thing you're going to tell a kid to do. So this is the part where they need adult supervision if Ooh, you're teaching them. We're playing I with have fire. Fire. And I just go like this. See? Okay. And done. I don't have just fuzz a little anymore. Bit and boom. Boom. Now I grab to the other side. So I did a lot more at the bottom because I'm going to insert this into my ladybug. But the this round part here, it needs to be a little chubby, but not fuzzy. So what you do is you do a lot less here, but you still do it. It's like a little flash fire. A flash fire, if I can ever grab them. Let me grab them together because it's easy. And in this case, don't use your nylon tweezers. Yeah, no, <laughs> this has to be a metal one. So what I do with this one is I, I just go over enough to take the, just the fuzz from the outside and they are done. Is that simple or not? Simple. So you're not stuck to have everything fuzzy because you're working with pipe cleaners. Now I have glue here. The one I have with me is the fast tacky glue, but you can use the transparent one as well. I like your or little any containers. Type. Yeah, it's just fun. I carry them around the because practical. as you are a witness, I make these things all the time. Well, she really does. Like we'll go if we'll go to a restaurant and she's just waiting for the food and we're just talking. I'm very impatient like as a person. She'll pull out her pipe cleaners and do stuff. Yes. Or whatever project she's working on. So now I have the antenna on. I just need to position them. So you and glued this, it on. Yeah, and the glue will become transparent later. Okay. So I have the antenna. Now, I'm making a bigger ladybug than I made the other ones because I want you to be able to see, okay? How now kind I, of you? <laughs> right? <laughs> Since we are here, then we, you, you might want to see it, right? And now oh, I'm... Oh, she I'm, fell. Oh, my ladybug fell. And we cannot have another casualty today. Thank God. Because the director is tapping in one of those teddy <laughs> bears. It does not exist anymore. So I have number six seed beads here. Now you can do, so it's one option, the seed bead. I also can use a puncher, like this type of puncher here, and punch cardstock. So I have that as well, in black. Aye! Or you can cut felt, black felt, and uh, also use those. You have to see what's the end result of your ladybug. So if you're putting on a card, for example, the paper will do just fine. Uh, if you're making a brooch or a headband, something for that just to, to become a highlight, even a blouse, you may have some embroidery there and you want to add the ladybug or on a, on a purse. Well, then either the felt or the beads, they would look better. Shahar, so, I was thinking even here with my necklace, I have a polymer clay necklace. Oh. Look how cute it would be. Oh. Yes. Ah, look right? at that. Isn't it adorable? Adorable. Yes. So we are going to use the beads for this. In the kit, you also have a piece of felt, 
uh, besides the beads, so you can choose which variation you want. And the kits are awesome. You know, the DVD, it's me, of course, uh, showing you how to do. So it's the kind of thing that you can revisit 10,000 times because you know what happens? You You're forget. making this every day and then you go about and you stop, maybe stop for a month or so. When you come back, you just don't remember how to make them anymore. It's just because your brain is busy with other things. Uh, so you revisit the DVD as many times. It's a, it's a short DVD to the point. Uh, so it's definitely just great to have. a must have. A must have. By and, the way, and what? Because it's a launch. Oh, you can okay. get at least three dollars less than the normal price. So you save a bit. Why not? Get it right now. Mondomarkettv.com. We have the itty bitty bears kit and we have the fun bugs kit. So you in the fun bugs you'll see how to create the tarantula, the 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 ladybug, the bees, way cool. Definitely you should have it. It's a lot of fun, loads of fun. Mondomarkettv.com is where you go to get that. Okay. So you're adding the little I dots. just added, and of course we have to wait it for it to dry. Uh, so it stays, and the white goes away. Now, can you do this with, with uh, hot glue, for example? You would go faster. Yes, you can. No big deal here. Um, just remember that if you mess up, then it's really hard to take. The difference with using this type of glue is that if you mess up, you can take it away, even cut a little bit if you need to, the, the part where you, you are. But with the hot glue, there is no recovering. You have to start from zero again. Remember, you have tacky glue that is transparent, and you also have the school glue that is transparent mm -hmm. that you can use as well, and it would just be fine. So this is the one we By the made way, it today. Bonnie said, I love how you did the antennas. Yeah, see? Yes. Yes, and many times you use that for the legs as well. So, I'll show you this, but remember, the glue will go away even though you see the white in there, okay? Yes. But look, it's, it's super cute, right? Now look, I'm just going to show you from the top view, so you can see there, from the top view, and then uh, the side view, and the back, see? But can we say adorable? Uh -huh. Yes, adorable. If and you you're into this. embroidery, for example, you yeah. could add this, it becomes stump work, right? Even though yeah. you're not embroidering you, the you ladybug. Could, I've, I'm into necklaces, so I keep thinking all kinds of necklaces. But you can yes. do a stump work necklace, for example, Yes. with the with, this, with the ladybug. With the ladybug. Uh -huh. You can create earrings. This You made this one bigger, so the yes, smaller one would be fine. But I kind of like this size. For example, I too. if, if I were... Make it into a brooch, like put it on your shoulder or something. Yeah, I and mean, a great way to do this is to grab a magnet like Neon Demons. Yes. Right? That you, uh, you know, you have in any craft store, we, we have a Mondo Market as well. We have the tiny ones. But you glue one here, and then you put here, put the other on the other side. So it's, it never harms your garment at all. It's a hit. And it's a super hit, and you go around, <gasps> you have a ladybug! Would you How sell cool. these? I would sell these. How much? I, you know, these really I would sell for $7, $5. Okay. Uh, the tarantula, same thing. So it's not like the teddy bear. Yeah. Right? The teddy bear, you, you can push the price a little bit more because it is a miniature teddy bear, and people have this fascination with teddy bears. This one, if, but if you're selling this for 5 or or seven dollars you're going to sell a bunch if you long? make them into this kind of pins because uh, have one one thing in mind when we say brooches uh, i don't know why but it it sounds old right uh you, you see yourself like an old <laughs> lady with, with a you know a coat or a shawl and then and then the, it, that's not how it's used today uh people use the pins everywhere they use with blouses they use on their purses. So when you use the magnet instead of the pin in itself, well, that can be added to any surface that they think that would go well, mm -hmm. right? So you could put like this. This is a summer blouse, right? It's very th thin. Uh, if I put a, a pin here, the thing is going to be doing like this all the time because, you know, the fabric is not meant for that. But with the, the neon, neon demon, it's it perfect. will stay in place, so not harm and be fun. 
Uh, let's see. Sandra said, so clever to burn the pipe cleaners. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you, girl. Sandra said, these are beyond cute. Yes, they are. They totally are. No. Bonnie said, hang on. Hang on. Hang, hang. Hold your horses. Hold your, she, Bonnie did not say hang on. <laughs> I said that. Uh, Bonnie said, very cute indeed. And Delania said, yes, so cute and adorable. Adorable. Now, you know, I started making these last week to show for you. And I have made so many. Like, even now, we were putting the, the table together and said, where are my bears? Where am I this? And I had a bunch of them uh, uh, right there on the other room. Because it, you just keep making them. And that's the fun part of it. Again, I always, uh, you know, preach the bazaar thing because... I always think you always have something that you want that you're thinking about maybe the next paycheck you will be able to get. Maybe you're a sculptor and you're thinking about a cool, a cool tool. Maybe you want uh, uh, those forbans, right? We, we've shown so many things on the courses at Curious Mondo, for example. Uh, carvers, you have saws, all those things. They do cost a little bit, right? So they're not a, something that you go there, oh, just click buy two, and, and you, you have to think about it. Well, when you are making things, and you can put that online, you can put on social media, or maybe near town you have a bazaar going at this time of the year, why not? You make a bunch, in one night, you can make really dozens of these. Go sell, and then you buy whatever you want. See, so when we talk about just participating in bazaars and places like that, it's not because uh, oh, people need to make money, because they need to make money. No, maybe you don't, but you want some extra money, some play money. Uh, Beverly always says that she has some play money. Uh, so yes. the play money is for the extras. This kind of stuff is perfect for that because they cost so little. Look how and cute. And then, look how cute they are. He found a buddy. Oh, she has a buddy. She's my friend <laughs> because I was a lonely bear. Now I have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how adorable. <laughs> Before I talk about the bee, do you want to talk to them about our stuff? I sure do. Look, you might be asking, whoa, these kits are so cool. Where can I get them? And I will tell you, mondomarkettv.com is where you go. We have two fantastic kits. Okay, so Shahar really did a very cool job here. So we have one kit. This is the Miniature Teddy Bears Pipe Cleaner Fun Kit, and it is loads of fun. On this kit, you learn how to create these three bears right here and look how adorable they are you get the panda you get the blue bear the panda the blue bear and the zitty bitty bear that i love is one of my so favorites three different techniques three actually. different techniques yes. yes the kit comes with everything that you need it comes with the pipe cleaners it comes with the embroidery floss it comes with the beads the, everything that you need and and it comes with the dvd where you can watch and see exactly step by step how to do these so fantastic and the other one that we have is this one the funny bugs pipe cleaner fun and once again they are loads of fun uh, these as well come with everything that you need to create the pipe cleaners and uh, the dvd as well which is critical so that you can watch and pause and and follow along basically and create adorable bugs you can create bees you can create ladybugs and you can create tarantulas it comes with all the instructions for all of these so MondoMarketTV.com is where you go right now. And we do have an introductory price, so take advantage of that during the next 24 hours. Mondo yes, Market you're TV. saving a good chunk of money. And think about this. During summer, you may want to get a, a couple of girlfriends together. You sit down by the porch, yes. bring your portable TV, put the DVD there, and you all learn and make at the same time. It becomes a fun afternoon. You have some creations that you can give, that you can use in other crafts that you're doing, and you're just having a boatload of fun doing something different. Exactly. Right? Because some people, they get together, they don't know what to do, and, and, and they gossip all they can, but at some point, subject <laughs> over, yes. right? So you can say, okay, how, what can we do on a fun art afternoon that Let's is not going to bugs. cost a lot of money? Let's do make some <laughs> it's it, Well... It, it's summer, yes. bugs are everywhere. Yes, and look, Elaine said, uh, no, Sandy said they could be added to a wreath. Exactly, exactly, Sandy. Wouldn't it be cute? I don't know if you saw in the beginning, but um, these are some pipe cleaner flowers that Shahar did. And look how adorable they are with, with the, ladybug. the ladybug on them. Keep it, you want to know now? 
get out of there. Get out of there. This is my flower. That's okay. There's a flower for flower. everyone here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Super fun. Super cute. So. so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Um, this is work. <laughs> okay. So, so Sheila said, a suggestion from Sheila, it would be really useful for those of us outside the USA if we could just purchase instructions as a download. We can think about that. We'll consider that, Sheila. <laughs> okay. We totally will. And Bonnie said, oh, okay, uh, Bonnie said, by the way, whomever packages your kits, they do a wonderful job. I received my flower kit with floss, not these pipe cleaner, now, now <laughs> these pipe cleaner bugs is a must. Exactly. Yes, yes. And I have to tell you that I, it, I'm always thinking one thing together with the other because I told you before, I like to make a lot of different stuff and I used to feel guilty about that because I thought as an artist, I have to focus on one thing, on one technique, but that's not how my personality works. I, and I'm not only ADD, I like to be testing different things. I like the process of the challenge. And if I'm doing the same thing over and over, uh, the challenge kind of fades away a little bit, so I need to give it a break. But I also like to combine. And now I have the perfect motto for being like this. So, uh, we interview on, on our podcast this week an amazing local artist called Judy Elsley, and she is talking uh, about quilts, but she, we, we talked about this. What if one day I create this thing and the other, don't you feel guilty that you, you do quilting and pottery, totally different spectrum? And she said, no, because every day I am telling my story. And today, this is how I decided to tell my story. And that, that made it for it me. It clicked for you? Yes, it, it did. Like today, this week. This is my story. This is telling my story. And tomorrow, it's going to be something else or not. We don't know. Now, with these little things, I keep thinking, OK, I love, love, love to do the brain flow embroidery. Not only the brain flow em embroidery, I like the dimensional stuff. So I do a lot of embroidery only using yarn. So it, it's bulky, it's different. And I love them. Now, because I need dimension in everything that I make, these little things, they go perfectly. Yes. Right? Yes, you can make them all, also with embroidery stamp work would be a form, but it, it, it tells a different story. I put this little guy, I have more dimension on, on my piece, and it, it's going to become gorgeous. So I know many, many of you have the brain flow embroidery. Why not make one and add one of the bugs? And you're going to see how it pops out. Because isn't the idea of the brain, f brain flow not only to be simple to make, but also to have that different uh, you know, layers in the, in the embroidery. So when you add this one, of course, it's going to be taller than all the others, or the ladybug. And it turns into a whole different thing. Now, Ashley, mm. we are getting closer and closer and closer to the end of the year. Yes, we right. Are. If you watch Shailene with Crafting with Shailene, she's bringing Halloween, she's bringing Christmas already, right? Because this is the time you should be getting ready for these things and not later when there are too many stuff, many things happening at the same time and family coming and cooking and all the other stuff. Think about now that you actually have the time to plan ahead and make, okay, how am I going to bring something different to the table? So of course, every week we give you ideas of things you can gift, but think about what a great stock, stocking stuffer, uh -huh. is that how you say? It's an adorable this little stocking things are, stuffer. Right? It's, yes. it's amazing. Uh, if you get my spider, get my spider. Careful. Okay, you make this again, you, you a, a, a bag, if you go by anywhere, I hope you get the kit, but if you, you, you go anywhere by pipe cleaners, you know that a bag costs you a dollar or two, right? And you are going to make several of these. Well, this is perfect. It has a hole here. You know, nobody else knows. Tie here a bag of candies. Ah, oh, cute. Oh, my gosh. Yes. No, no. You're going to be the talk of the neighborhood. Or the, you know those right? little candies that come with the shiny red wrappers that uh -huh. have... 
They, they look like a little strawberry. Oh, yes. With the with your ladybugs? With the ladybugs. It'd be super cute. Come on, come on. Then you're saying, I'm really original here, making a memory together with the treat that you're yes. giving. So why yes. not? They, they why are, not? Think, think outside the box. Don't go buy stuff that looks the same everywhere and everybody gets. You know, Show people you're unique because you are. You are, exactly. I like that. By the way, Bree said, I love the bugs. Hey, Bree. Hey. So let me just show you. We are not going to make the, the bee for the sake of time. And I, I hear it on my head. It's perfect. I made this one. And when I was making it, I said, yeah, OK. But it became my very favorite one. Oh, really? I think it's adorable. So I do plan to create a whole hive of them. You make it your pet, almost. Yeah. Well. I think I'm going to put this in one embroidery for it's sure. Cute. So it has acetate uh, wings mm -hmm. that I painted with a Sharpie. Okay. Oh, it has legs. So it allows me to do different things than with the ladybug. Not that I can, I, I could put legs on the ladybug as well, but I did on this. And I think it just became adorable. Yes. And I think you should make a gazillion of them, create your own hive. If you know people that do raise bees, you, you know that they get, see, this is a variation. So you can create, and, and I think the other one also has a different color, if I'm not wrong. This one right here? Let me see. And I noticed you position the wings differently. Yeah, so it gives it a different. Uh, you can make them a smaller, you can make almost. them bigger. So see this one, of course, all of them have here the yellow and the black, but this one has a lighter color than this one. This is the one that comes in the kit. You could play with, with orange as well. You could make a black head, so it, it's endless. Yes. But look how cute. Now, people that raise bees, they tend to be really here, crazy here. about them they really do right They're they obsessed. really love them they they love necklaces on bees it's a it's a huge thing because you know they know they are impacting the world in a very positive way mm -hmm. so this would make a nice i care about you gift totally right it doesn't have to be a special date or anything no it's say, just oh, i know you raised bees you i gift. made this don't don't tell them it's pipe cleaners because uh, they won't even know they won't even know yes. but they will appreciate so much your gesture yes right yes fantastic so there's only one more thing that you need to do mondomarkettv.com go there right now get your kits we have two we have the itty bitty bears kit you get to learn how to create these three different bears right here and they're adorable. You see the panda, the little blue guy, the itty bitty guy. Uh, <laughs> super cute. You get to learn how to do that. That's um, That kit it comes with everything that you need, including the DVD with instructions. Then we also have the Fun Bugs one. Fun Bugs one comes with the bee. You get to learn how to create the bee. Which one is it? This yeah, bee? Yeah, this one. This bee right here comes with the ladybug. You get to learn how to do the ladybug. And the tarantula. Yes. Yes. So all you have to do, mondomarkettv.com, go there right now, because remember, we're introducing this today to you today. And during the next 24 hours, you get, you get, uh, you get the introductory price, special yes. introductory price. So mondomarkettv.com is where you go right now. And the DVD, again, not only you can revisit when you forget something, it's a great yeah. way to get a group of friends together. You will, you know, maybe you have some neighbors that would like to come over for tea one day, or you belong to a church group, or to Girl Scout, or to anything that you can put a group together, watch that, learn to make fun, and there you go. You become the, the go-to person when creative is necessary, right? If you... Uh, let us know you like this idea and you get your kit. I have others prepared. I'm working Ooh, on dogs right now. Really? Well, mm -hmm. Elaine said, I thought it was Elaine who said, uh, oh, no, uh, let's see, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. She said, I love those pipe cleaner flowers. Yes, we have an episode only on that. We oh, do. I was trying to remember. No, we, we did. We did a big one and we actually made a ton of flowers. They are there on the other uh, place. Uh, oh. We made all types of arrangements with those flowers. Check back. Mondo They're Market everywhere TV. around here. Yes, all and you, you can watch and do, make it. All you have to do on Mondo Market TV to watch previous episodes is just to catch, click on watch the show and you'll see Sparkle of Creativity and it will show you all of them that you can watch. 
Yes, and again, I'm addicted to, I don't know if you have it's noticed, fun. The, the, to pipe cleaners. I think they're so fun to make and they offer so many possibilities. Yes. Why not make them? And the flowers you will see on that show, we created, I don't know, I don't remember how many, but at least either. five or six different types of flowers. Yes. So it was super good. So go there. Okay, while they get their kit, we need to draw this. Oh, oh yes. This, she's adorable. She's all right, adorable. all right. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Who, Shahar, who? Oh, who? Bzz, I don't know. Bzz, I don't know. Bzz, I'm so anxious. <laughs> Who's the winner, Nashla? All right, all right. I just got a note from my director right here. The winner for today is Sandra Cook. Congratulations, Ooh, Sandra! you are the lucky winner. Yay! Send us an email to info at mondomarkettv.com with your name and mailing address and we'll get this, this little bee sent out to you. Yes, yeah, so fantastic. Yes, remember, we're here every Thursday for the Sparkle of Creativity show. So join us next Thursday, always at 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 Mountain, 4 Central, 5 Eastern. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this now. So anyway, join us next Thursday, okay? And uh, go make pretty things. And don't forget, stop by mondomarkettv.com right now. Where to you get find the things to make pretty things. That's right. <laughs> cool. All right. Take care. See you then. See ya. Thank you.